guys welcome back to my channel uh, it's a girl rose and you know how we do it from the r to the o to the s to the e that's rose for you so today's video i'll be dedicating it mostly to new moms as in first time moms i remember myself when i learned that i was pregnant for my first daughter mm, it was a feeling of missed emo emotions you know uh, you don't know what to expect ahead as in so much was going in my head like what will happen during, during the delivery process uh, I had seen so much videos of people going through so much pain, people going through so much, as in all that delivering process was quite scaring to me and uh, I figured myself and I'm like maybe other moms are also going through the same but trust me, I learned some tips which helped me to go through all that process to having a smooth and normal delivery, mm, a peaceful one and that's why I decided to share these tips with most of the upcoming new moms who are still worried and scared on how they will face their child but uh, I can say this video so is also mostly for those who have decided that they are going for a natural child but you know the natural way the, the way they, that nature intended for some reason others might prefer to use the CS and everything mm, it's also okay because at the end it doesn't matter which process you brought your baby to this world what matters is that you have your healthy baby born in a better way so i'll be sharing some tips that i used during my time that helped me into having a smooth and peaceful childbirth so stick along saying that natural birth I can say it's a beautiful empowering supernatural and a right of passage and uh, you find that most of the time every woman who passes through the natural birth always comes out more confident and strong uh, than the way she was before so I can say it's something if you are really really capable to go uh, to go through as in if you, your health is okay for you to go it I can say it's a good thing and uh, maybe the fear might be there especially if it's your first baby because I, also me it hit me i was scared uh, but slowly by slowly you can get some guidance and encouragement and trust me it's something that you will feel it was worth it was worth going for so before even we go to the before we go to to the tips that helped me into going through that uh, process um let's see some of the advantages of going through um, the natural birth i can say one of the advantages easy healing you know the pain is there too much pain but once the baby is out you feel very fast compared to the other process like ca so i can say there's easy healing you recover fast and by that uh, once you recover fast <clears throat> you'll find that you also have good time in taking care of your baby well because you're not in too much pain for long and i can also say um it's empowering it really does empowering as i said earlier after going through that process of that pain by the even in my life i don't know if there's any other, any other pain that any other strong pain that i've ever experienced compared to that pain that i face in that labor room so i feel after going through that pain mm, you feel you're able to handle anything now in life you feel like i've given birth i'm strong enough you know so i think that pain also is um, empowering you uh, uh making you more strong the other thing that I can also say can um, it increases the connection with your baby. Don't get me wrong here, because every process uh, makes you to connect with the baby. But sometimes you find that whatever anything happens to your baby, you remember that pain you felt there, and you're like, you end up reacting fast. So I can feel like it increased that connection. You know, I can't imagine the joy I felt once my baby was out that time and they pressed my baby on my chest. It was a fulfilling uh, experience, so I felt that connection. So I can say it, it increases the connection with your baby, but still, as they say, there's nothing good that doesn't have another bad. Uh, this the bad side of it. So it also has its uh, its cause. Mm, like I said, the pain is there. Too much pain. Yeah, the pain is there. But I will encourage you that as much as it's painful, but it's also uh, manageable. It's pain that you can manage. And also you realize at the end, once you receive your bundle of joy, you will 
you realize it was worth that pain. You realize even if you're told to go through that pain a hundred times more, you'll still go through it. So the pain is there. I won't like to the pain is there, but it's manageable. And I'm sure you'll be there with your midwives, people who can help you also, can strengthen you until you're able to successfully um, push it out. The other um, con that I can say, uh, in case you tear down there, hmm, the stitching part can also be, can be horrible. <laughs> It's, it's not something that you'll enjoy. That is in case by any chance that it happens, you teared a little bit, you know, when that baby was coming. If that happens, the stitching time, it's also something uh, that it's quite discomforting. Mm, it's another pain also to handle. So I can say that's also uh, another disadvantage. And another one, uh, too much blood. But I think there's a pain in both, you know, losing too much blood. It's normal for uh, whatever the process that you're using to deliver. I don't know about the CS because I never faced it, but during my time, which was a uh, natural, bar, natural normal birth, uh, you lose too much blood. But uh, the good thing is also the doctors are there and they will always make sure that you recover all that before you leave the hospital. They will definitely find a way for you to recover before leaving the hospital. Like I said, those are the cause, too much pain. So much discomforting during stitching that it, it gets to tear and uh, too much blood. But at the end, all this is worthful. All this is worthful. So let's go now straight to the tips that help me in having a smooth and natural back. So after going through the cons of the pain, the tearing, the stitching, the losing of too much blood, um, I know maybe you're like, will I really be able to face it? Will I really be able to? Be, will I really be strong enough to achieve that? All I can tell you is that if thousands of other women were able to go through it, you can also go through it. In fact, if I was able to go through it, you can because with all my fear and everything, I was successfully able to go through that. You can also make it. Uh, so don't be discouraged. You can face it. You are stronger than you, you know. And that takes me direct to my first tip, which is for you to... Try and uh, to know why you want that natural uh, bath. Why do you want to go for the natural bath? Um, you know, once you find the reason, you will be able to be strong enough to, fa to, to, uh, to face it. So what's your goal in wanting to achieve that natural bath? Is it because you're scared of what other method can cause to your body? You're scared of maybe the CS will leave marks in my body, in my tummy. I don't want those marks, blah, blah. So what's the reason or is it an accomplish that you want to make, you want to fulfill a certain accomplish, you want to strengthen yourself? Uh, like, I, like for me, I can say uh, I wanted to experience childbirth the way that nature intended. I want to feel that natural way of uh, giving birth the way it was intended by nature. So I can say that was my goal. I wanted to experience it. How does it feel? How does I hear this and this, but how does it really feel? <clears throat> And I was able to accomplish. So I can also say, uh, try and know why you want a child, but is it really important for you? Because there are other methods which can, you can also go for. So having a reason of, of why you want to, to go through that one can encourage you and strengthen you in facing it most. The other tip that I can also share is that for you to pick a healthy healthcare provider who is into natural birth, if it's in a hospital, obviously, You've had so many other mothers recommending this hospital is good, I delivered my baby here, blah, 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 you know. So if it's a hospital, uh, try and pick an, a hospital that uh, you know it's successfully known for natural birth, that it's highly recommended by other moms. Like for me, I did a lot of survey before I decided to, set to, to go for the hospital that I set up for. I did a lot of survey, uh, viewing reviews, you know. Uh, reading almost every comment until when I feel now I'm comfortable and secure with this hospital. So choose also a healthcare provider, the doctor you attend to, make sure that the doctor is well experienced with natural birth. In that way, you'll be sure that you, you are in safe hands and uh, the doctor knows everything that needs to be done. With that one, it also gives you a sense of relaxation, for your mind relaxation that you are in safe hands and with that you can be able to focus now on the energy that you need for the baby other than focusing on maybe I will not be taken care of, blah, blah, blah. So uh, go for the hospital that you are sure 
has good rehabilitation about natural path go for a doctor that you feel comfortable you even just talking to that doctor you will feel comfortable if you don't feel comfortable change that doctor immediately so always try to be sure that you are very very comfortable from the hospital to the doctor everyone who will be attending to you make sure that you're comfortable with them i can also tip out or point out that you try and learn the pain management techniques early enough uh, prior to your labor day uh, these are uh, pain management techniques can be more of, uh, can be like visualization you know relaxation the deep breathing try and learn it uh, prior to your labor day learning it uh, months to uh, you can see that it will help you. It has helped me. It also helped me. By the time you reach into that labor day, you have been used to the deep breathing and everything. So it's a good source of helping you in managing the pain. So try learning it early enough. Deep breathing, visualization, relaxation, all the position that you'll be able that will be able to um, will be able to help you in managing your pain during the, your labor room. So. Get to learn about it. The other tip is for you to prepare physically, mm, mentally, mm, having a positive, uh, I can say having a positive mindset. Uh, don't do this, I will try mentality, but put the I will do mentality. Always ask yourself with our four mothers, you know, they were able to do it. So many people have gone through it. You can also do so. Put the I will do mentality rather than I will try mentality. Try means you are you have given room for failing, but if I will do it, it means there's no room for failing. Not unless now uh, the doctors see you have a condition that requires another method. Uh, but if you're okay, put it there. I will do mentality, and trust me, you can be able to face it. Uh, you can also uh, try to be active. I realize if you are just dull throughout your pregnancy, trust me, your labor room will also your labor time will also be a long one. So uh, try and be active. You can practice the yoga, you can practice some squats to keep your body active, some walking around, but do it also in caution, not to overdo it because it can also be harmful. You know, you're pregnant, so you don't need to, to overdo so much. It can affect your baby and also maybe you. So, whatever you're doing, be careful. If it's the walking, the squatting, the, the job you're doing, make sure you're not carrying so much heavy things. Always be careful for uh, because of your situation or of your condition. So be active, practice exercise in a caution in a in a caution where you can try this the uh, perfect uh, pregnancy plan fitness. I think they are online. They can give you a good guidance on what you're supposed to do. The best exercise you can do uh, so that you know you are doing the right thing. So um, prepare yourself physically, mentally. Uh, have a positive mindset. Be active, do some exercise, some walking, like chores. Don't overwork yourself. With, with that one, we'll find that uh, during your labor time, you won't go long hours. You know, going long hours in labor means going long hours in pain. So the better way you can shorten your labor means the shorter time you also uh, you'll experience the pain. So try and do activities that can be able to help you during a labor time for you to deliver your baby in a faster way. I've, I've seen some people going through labor for two days. Imagine that's too much torture. Or going for labor for 12 hours is too much torture. So keeping yourself active will be able to protect and prevent you from all those uh, long hours in, in labor. And also, it's always good to be prepared. Be prepared. Learn about the natural birth. Learn everything about what to expect during the natural birth. Learn about the stages of the stages of labor. What to expect in this stage. After this stage, what will happen? Learn about the contractions, the different uh, intervals. How they come in, diff in different uh, intervals. If the interval increases, what am I supposed to do? So, you know, when you are prepared, you'll be able to face that task. So. Get to learn more about uh, natural birth. You can see all this online. Get to learn about the stages of labor, what to expect. Also get to learn the different positions that can help you during the labor. If you're tired, you can walk. If you're tired of walking, you can lie down on your side, not, not with your tank, but on your side. For me, I was not scared. I did everything. Even there was a time I was, I was walking in four, you know, walking in four. I, I felt it helped me reduce the pain in my back. So. Uh, do whatever can help you to ease that pain when you are going through that. So try and learn different positions that can help you uh, during that pain, uh, the labor time. 
it can also be essential for you. You know, if you are prepared, you will be able to face the task well. So be prepared. Get to learn about labor. Get to learn about contraction. What to expect in each contraction and uh, how long each contraction can take. Learning about all that can be helpful to you. And while winding up, I can also advise that you believe in yourself. Believe that you can achieve it. Uh, if many other women were able to go through that, you can also uh, go through it. Believe in yourself. Uh, stop anyone who will be like maybe making you to be more more scared. Um, stop watching these scaring uh, videos in YouTube of a woman going through torture, labor, dying. All these things will add so much uh, worry in you. They will add so much fear in you. So stop watching terrifying videos which can affect you mentally. So um, believe in yourself. Uh, you can also be trying to listen to, I can say, relaxation music. It can help your brain to be relaxed and that uh, you'll be able to face that labor in a more convenient way. So stop watching anything that will terrify you, anything that will make you to be like, no, this is too much. I cannot be able to face it. Don't watch it, especially watching those videos, they can really, really affect right? I, I remember I used to watch it on my early stages of, uh, of pregnancy. I used to watch so, so many of those videos and they really, really added the fear in me more. But the moment I stopped and started uh, now listening to positive videos of other women who have successfully and uh, go through the natural birth well, I also got encouraged. So instead of listening to negative videos, try and watch the positive ones which can encourage you because you'll, al you'll always be safe remember the doctors will be there and in case they feel you are not able to do that they will definitely find an, another alternative for you so believe in yourself and you can do it girl another way that i can also encourage you to face it is for you to think beyond that pain think uh try and imagine after all this pain what am I going to achieve? Try and imagine how beautiful your baby will be. Try and imagine the beautiful moments that you and your baby are going to have. So don't just focus on that pain. Focus also on what is beyond that pain. What will come, your reward after that pain. So thinking beyond that pain can also be, it can also be helpful. And during that labor time, I'll, I'll give you one secret. Mm, let it go. Don't hold in to those uh, contractions. Holding them, uh, I can say they they make it uh, you feel more pain so just stay relaxed always try, uh, try to be relaxed during your contractions I know it's sad because the pain is there but being relaxed can easen the uh, the pain that these contractions are costing you other than holding them when you are very very firm uh, it becomes a uh, mm, uh, so much hard even for baby to, for the baby to be able to pass out so loosen up don't hold so much in those contractions. Uh, let everything to be smooth and before time, uh, you'll be surprised that you have uh, you have made it. Uh, before time, your bundle of joy will be out. And while winding up, I can say that it's okay if you don't achieve the natural birth of your dream. I know sometimes your heart might really, really want to go for it. Your heart might really want to to go through the natural birth like any other woman, but maybe due to an avoid avoidable circumstances, you are not able to go through it and maybe you are forced to go for other medicated uh, birth. I can encourage you that it's fine because what matters is not the way that that baby came to this world. What matters is that you have been able to deliver a healthy and uh, a healthy and, uh, and a baby. That's all matters, not the way the baby came to this earth. And just by you carrying that baby in your womb for nine months, it's already a proof that you are a strong woman. So whatever the circumstances, if you are not able to achieve that uh, natural, natural birth dream that you wanted to go for, don't feel less of yourself. You are still a strong woman. Carrying that baby is not a joke. So it's fine if at the end, uh, due to unavoidable circumstances, you are not able to achieve that natural birth. It's okay. What matters is that you are babies here and we celebrate, right? The baby is here, the baby is healthy. That's what matters. Uh, thanks so much. And I can say I wish luck to every mom who is watching, maybe if you're pregnant or anything, I wish you the best in all your pregnancy and your birth and everything. I wish you the best in it. Thanks so much. I was happy to share these uh, motherhood tips 
with you. I hope it encourage you and give and to give you that strength to face that labor room like a warrior that you are. Uh, keep on subscribing if you, if you have not. I love you. Until next time. Bye bye.